Timo Dropshipping to Amazon. How to dropship from Timo to Amazon. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be explaining and showing you guys how you will be able to perform a dropshipping relationship between Timo and Amazon. Now usually, when someone or when one wants to connect two platforms together and they want to perform dropshipping, they would usually use Shopify. But in this situation, we actually cannot use Shopify as our middleman for us to make a connection with Amazon and Timu. And of course, there is no direct connection between Timu and Amazon as well because they are not actual dropshipping platforms. Timu in itself is not a dropshipping platform and Amazon in itself is not a dropshipping platform. So there is no direct feature for them to perform dropshipping uh, interactions unlike with platforms such as Printify or uh, Printful which are platforms that are doing dropshipping and actually has their own features to support uh, connecting to different platforms but today uh, we will be explaining how even though you don't have any direct connection between Timo and Amazon we will show you how you will be able to perform dropshipping either way now the method that I'm talking about is a very manual process so if you're not willing to do that much effort to perform drop shipping this method is not for you and you're just simply going to have to wait in the future for better ways to connect these two platforms but as of now the only way for us to perform drop shipping between Timu and Amazon is through this manual method called manual drop shipping now what is manual drop shipping so let me explain how manual dropshipping works. Basically, you're first going to select a product to dropship. So let's go first in Timo and look for a product to dropship. Now, what are great products to start using as dropshipping products? So what I would tend to do is that I could look through lightning deals over here. Why lightning deals? Because in what lightning deals, their products are actually extra cheap. So there will be a huge discount like this one. It's almost like a 50% discount. And if I buy this and if I sell it on Amazon for a full price, which is like 87, I would be able to get an earning of 40 earnings because uh, I bought it for half a price, but I sold it for full price. So uh, finding items in lighting deals can be really great as well. You can also find items from best sellers over here or five star rated to ensure that those products are actually tested and tried by a lot of people so for example this one bulldog storage uh, compartment there we go for example this is the product that i would like to sell on amazon so we've done our step one which is uh, select a product to drop ship now our second step is to download and save a product from Tibo. Now, how do we save a product in Timo? So, uh, in Timo, you have these images. So, you can't really uh, go as simple as saving it as. As you can see, you, you will not be able to save it as a JPEG file. So, you will need an external help for us to be able to get the image and videos over here. So, you will be using some Timi or Timo image downloader extension. There's a lot of extensions out there that actually supports image and video downloader which will export the images or videos found on a specific page in Timo for example this one we will be able to have an option to download this image or the video and even the descriptions over here which is really cool so after downloading uh, you will now of course possess the images of the specific product so uh, that solves the image section now what you're going to do is you're also going to copy the title, the price, and other information, relevant information. You could copy the description, uh, the material it is made of, all the necessary relevant information that you think can be used. Like maybe this one, the sizing is very important. So when you download it, that's very important as well. So going over here in Amazon, after getting your uh information such as your title the price and the image you can now simply upload in amazon as a seller you could upload the images you could upload the title you could upload the description 
and you could act as a seller of that specific product in Amazon. Now, let's say I have successfully uploaded it in Amazon. What happens next when someone orders? Of course, me, I don't actually have the actual product because of course we want to perform drop shipping where we no longer have to have the inventory for that specific product and the company who actually sells or makes that product will be the one who sends it to them directly uh, allowing us to perform a drop shipping relationship where we are not involved in the delivery we're only involved in the selling process and earning money so let's explain here again in canva how it works so uh, let's create a circle over here there we go so let's say this circle over here is us this is us as the middle one and let's create two more circles over here. These two circles over here is represented by Amazon. So this one, let's go with black. And Tino, let's go with a color orange. So you have uh, me. This is us over here. Amazon and Tino. Now, a quick explanation on how this works is that when someone from Amazon, of course, you have posted the product already. When someone orders an item, which is the item that you have uploaded, you will be able to receive their info, which is very important. There we go. Now you, as the seller, you now obtain the user's info from Amazon. So now you're going to go to your Timu, the original link of the product that you stole or not stole the product that you copied and pasted in Amazon. You're going to order it yourself but the information that you're going to input on the delivery information or the payment method is the information of your client from amazon so now if the team will process it they will send the product to your client in amazon instead so it will do or perform a loop over here wherein you're just getting the information you're ordering it on timu with their information provided and then Timo will just send the product to your Amazon customer which will then uh, they'll give a rating on your store then you will be able to get some stars and uh, which will be is really great and you will be able to sell more and more product so that's basically how our method works the manual drop shipping although the downside of this is that of course the keyword is manual so you're going to have to do this one by one individually on every product that you want to start selling. So you don't really have control on doing bulk selling. So you're going to have to do it very manually and very uh, hard labor. Especially when someone orders a lot of items for you, you're going to have to work hard for you to be able to pull this off and successfully earn a lot of money. So that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.